late war air sagas. Thanks for tuning in. So anyways, I want to do a video on what a late war air saga might look like. Now mine's kind of uh, out of the ordinary. Well, for one thing, the bolt is bent. It's not supposed to be like that, and I'll get into that why. But anyways, we'll start at the top here. Now this is actually a Type 38 Arasaka. As far as I know, they never made like a last ditch version of these because they were trying to replace the Type 38 with the Type 99. Because when they were in China, they realized that the 6.5 Jap just wasn't uh, cutting it out by stopping the Chinese. So, they uh, just shortened the rifle a little bit and they beefed it up to a bigger 30 caliber cartridge, the 7.7 jet. Now, anyways, so this one actually looks in great shape. And uh, by the way, also both of these have the chrysanthemum still intact. See that? There we go. Now, anyways, now, um, this one uh, still has, oh, sorry, this one still has the anti-aircraft sights. So I'm guessing what probably happened is they were at the arsenal, they are trying to crank these out, and they're just like, oh, hey, we still have like a couple anti-aircraft sights left. You want, want to use them? Sure. So I think that's what happened, or it could have, someone could have just put it on there later. Anyways, now let's start from the top, and you can see, compared to... All right, so let's look at the Type 38. Now you can see this is what the front sight's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like now. See, they don't have a windage adjustment. It's just a front sight. And on mine, you'd actually have uh, two screws here. But instead what they did is they just put two bolts on it, tightened them down, and then it looks like they filed these two down. So I guess it wouldn't get in your way. I think you can still put a monopod on these. This one. Anyways, yeah, they don't have the monopod anymore. You can see, that's a very bright screw. These screws could have been put on, like, in the U.S., by the way. Could have happened. Now, another thing, um, this is actually, this one, this rifle's blued. See? This one, actually, they just put, uh, actual paint on it. See how it's actually, it chipped off. Yeah. So, yeah. And usually they wouldn't have a, they would have actually a fixed sight. So it would just be a little, it would basically just be this circle. There wouldn't be any adjustable sight arrangements. So this wouldn't even, this wouldn't even be on here. Now another thing they would do is instead of having a uh, metal butt plate, they'd actually have just a piece of wood with, sometimes they put uh, three nails in them, then they're like, oh, okay, well, we're running out of nails, so why don't we just put two nails in them? So yeah, they would actually put a piece of wood on these things. <laughs> to let you know how desperate they are. They were, kidding. Now these, they started, I think they started to produce these around the, uh, around uh, 1944 and 45 simply because all right we're losing we're losing we're losing okay Germany just surrendered we're losing we're losing and then they got bombed and I believe they actually still kept uh, producing these up until the actual armistice was signed like the day now anyways 90% of your Arasakas in the US are actually war bringbacks so, anyways, now the reason this is actually bent is because some Yahoo in America decided, hey, you know what would be cool? What if I were to bend my Arasaka bolt? I'm going to heat it up and bend it. Yeah, that... Don't do that, please. These are pieces of history. Another thing with this one, as you can see, pull the bolt all the way back, kind of just push it forward. Someone actually filed down the sear so it doesn't stop the bolt. Now if you look at the Type 38, it's gonna stop. See? Yeah. Now anyways, now um, 
You're probably wondering, well, are these cracks in the stock? Actually, no, this, these are not cracks in the stock. They both have them. The reason, uh, this is actually a two-piece stock. Now, the reason they're two-piece stocks is because in Japan, they don't have very uh, thick wood. Like, we have, you know, oak and stuff like that. They really don't have that. You can actually, like, fit two hands around some of the trees that they have there. So what they do is they take one tree and they cut the they cut the top portion of the of the stock out and then they cut the bottom part out. And then they actually put it in a like a dovetail inside the stock to hold it together. Yeah, it's not hold together by glue. Well they do have glue in it, but yeah. See this one has some dings and scratches on it. I assume because it still has the chrysanthemum intact, both of them, I assume that whoever had it didn't uh, surrender it. War as hell. Now, anyways, so, yeah. Now, these are Mauser actions, by the way. They're just cock on clothes. Now, the Type 99, actually, they experimented with it uh, after the war ended and they experimented with it with it with overpowered cartridges and couldn't break it that's got to tell you something oh and by the way the type 99 you can actually take 30 out six trim it down and fire it out of these weapons and no you can't no they didn't do that in world war ii the japanese couldn't pick up 30 out six and just chamber it in there you actually got to trim it down so yeah well, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and please like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to make another video. Bye.